My first memory of playing music I had to like lug my cello up this giant hill on my first lesson. I remember getting up there, I'm like sweating a little bit and I'm like eight years old. And by the time I like sat down, I was like, I'm ready to leave because I was just not excited at all. I was super active with all the extracurriculars and stuff that I did as a little kid. I think my parents forced me to play sports, visual arts, swimming practice, a soccer league for my city or whatever. But music was definitely the main thing, I think, from a young age that my mom implemented. Started off drawing and everything, and I still do to this day. I thought that would be my, my claim to internet fame. But I love the story of the fact that I just happened upon this job and, and I didn't expect it at all to happen, so. I was first introduced to the ukulele in seventh grade in Mr. Burnfield's music class. I found myself always taking home a ukulele on the weekends so I could just play my own songs and learn how to cover other songs too. And I also learned how to write songs in Mr. Burnfield's class. The first original song I posted on SoundCloud was called 1-800-DATE-ME, and it was, it was like the middle of the night on Valentine's Day. And I was like, you know what? I talk all the time about being single and like lonely, and also everyone feels that way. Why don't I make a song about it? And it could be the four chords that I learned in that eighth grade class, C, G, A minor, F. And because I had like 200 followers at that point, I was like, no one's gonna see this. And I posted it and, um, <laughs> been going off since then, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I hadn't posted that song and gotten, I think, the reaction that I initially did from my audience at that point, I would not have had the courage to continue making music. I kept everything really secretive for 12 months. It was a long time to be hiding in your bedroom in the middle of the night making stuff and quietly whispering into my microphone so my mom wouldn't find out. <laughs> It's been like almost two years since I like walked down those steps. Mm -hmm. And you told and us told here. You. Yeah. It's weird how much like my world has changed from like being back in my bedroom, quietly singing, not yeah. telling you guys anything now. Yeah. Okay. But it is funny, like the transition from hiding something that was such a big, like music, hiding it from you guys now. Right. And then I have this album where there's a song about my family. Yeah. Feels good. It's like finally they have merged together and I like don't need to be panicky every time you're like, Maya, come here for a second. And I'm like, oh my God, which internet account did my, my mom find? <laughs> oh my God. So I'm glad I don't need to stress about that anymore. The reality of their kid having to apply for colleges is, is terrifying. And for me to all of a sudden be in this really big space that is the internet and the music industry, um, I'm sure it was really scary, but they acclimated to it as well as I think parents can. <laughs> yeah. But I'm actually pretty good. I only check Twitter once a week. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching the point where I've almost sung for half of my life, but it didn't feel like I ever thought about myself as a singer the way that I do now, I think. I feel like I've been lacking, crying too many tears. Everyone seemed to say it was so great. But did I miss out? Was it a huge mistake? I was playing Wonderwall with my dad at home. My dad would play the guitar and I would sing. And I found out that the school rock band was playing Wonderwall. I told my friend at the time, who was the bass player, that I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm playing that at home with my dad. I know there's a cello part on it. Why don't I audition? Was your bird feel? Yeah. Oh my God, wait, what is this? That's my advisory who knew you were coming. And That's so they wrote so you some cute. notes. Oh my God. Yeah. Students sometimes come back and they say, hey, wow, it's so great to see you. And they say, hey, you know, I really just want to let you know I really enjoyed your class. And that just makes my month or my year. <laughs> but when I hear someone say that and it's in a podcast that maybe millions of people will hear, I'm sitting there listening to this and I screamed to my wife. I was like, oh, my God, you got to hear this. You have to hear this. <laughs> oh, you know? my God. And it was just, it's just, it's just incredible. You learn things certain places, but obviously in order to take it where you've taken it mm -hmm. is, is all you. It was the first time that there was a songwriting assignment on ukulele. When you guys got up there and you performed it, it like had structure and it had a melody and all this, and it was it really stood out. You know? Do you remember the song? Oh my God, I remember parts of it. There was a day in music, music.
a class where the time didn't seem to pass. And then it goes, random stuff, excite, wait, random stuff, excitement, Satan, whatever, more Satan, ukuleles, music, etc. Rhymes and songs and occasional melodies, something, a uh, so, and, oh my god. And then it goes the chorus. All of these things were running through our minds. They something about how the something I think time was in there because I discovered rhyme zone. Um, right. And then it kept going on. The songs that you were writing like a few years ago, and then hear the songs that are happening now, and the structures are getting deeper, and the lyrics are getting deeper, and seeing this vision kind of become reality is just mm-hmm. is just so amazing. I guess I thought that prom was gone. keep collections of masks upon my wall to try and stop myself from revealing it all. You know, I'm used to, and I'm a musician, and I'm used to just this whole different way for this to happen, and it's just, it's just incredible that, that you can be in your bedroom and you can do that. It just gets me so excited, because now I look in the classroom and I think, could it be you? Could it be you? You know, this, this kind of thing, yeah. and, and it's just really amazing. It never crossed my mind that I could make music on my own. I think I always thought that it was something that was just a part of life, and everyone takes lessons for instruments, and everyone has to play something at some point. It's like a rite of passage almost. It felt such like a, such a natural progression for me to write about what I was feeling. I didn't think twice about it. I didn't definitely didn't think that it would turn into a job at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm.